Just received this Epax X1 resin printer. It's going to go alongside my um, Photon. Um, and so let's unbox it and see what's inside. Here's a tape to protect the LCD screen. The user manual it looks like a single resin filter. The build plate. This one's been bead blasted. I sanded the one of my photon. I sanded it. Um, I suppose they should come already pre-calibrated. Power supply. Film. It's a spare film. And spatula. Ooh, I that I'd use the. I don't know where I, I would use the metal spatula on the on the film, but there's a plastic spatula, the power cable, and a. USB key, SanDisk branded, better than the stock USB key that came with the Photon. It's all coming up as one thing, one big block. Okay, let's wrestle it off. Whoops. Okay, that was interesting because I ordered the one that, I don't know, I guess it didn't have the amber window, or that's what that's how it was advertised. I thought the, it seems to be advertised as a black window, but, and then the amber window was extra. But it seems like this has an amber window on it, which is good, because I'd rather see, but I actually was not willing to spend the extra $30 or something to be able to see. Okay, this plastic wrap is a little bit annoying. I'm not trying to save it, I'm just trying to not to use a knife on this thing. It's like nice solid metal. And one thing I'm looking forward to over the Photon is the better access when the cover is open. Did not come with any resins or anything to start with. This, that's it, that's it for the, that's it for the box. No starter resin, which is fine because I have plenty of resins now. But if you were new to this, that might be nice. And I like that there's better access here when you're opening it. Looks like it already has a protective layer installed around it. And it's interesting because the LCD appears to be recessed just a little bit, which means that there's always going to be a space between the film and the uh, LCD. I guess that allows for a little bit of air in there for it to lift. Seems nice so far. Solid rails in the back. I'm glad to get away from the that ball adjustment. Did not like that thing. Looks like this should just go right on there because with the photon it was too easy to um, screw up the adjustment, especially when you're when you, you would grab it by the grab it by the ball and he was scraping stuff off of it. It was easy to mess up the adjustment. So this seems like a nice fit here and a solid connection. All right, let's power it up. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is power it up and I'm gonna install the update. Uh, make sure it's got the latest firmware. I've already got the update on USB key. Let's see, you go to print, update, dot lcd firmware update okay now I go into system look information and I have 4.2.18 which at this time is the latest it came it came shipped with 4.2.16 okay so the manual says that one of the first things to do after powering up is to set the z height 
So you always want to make sure that there's no junk in between the LCD and the film. So you use a clean microfiber cloth just to make sure there's nothing there. Make sure there's nothing that damages the LCD. Tool, set Z, home first. Manual, home. Okay, it's gonna go down. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back up so I can put some resin in there. Go back, I don't have to calibrate or anything right now. So I'm just going to mix the resin and put that in there. Here's pouring in the resin. I always wipe the edge of the jar so it doesn't leak. Bottles, not jars. Now go to print and select the print file. This one and I'm going to hit play. Oh, loud beeping there. Un unnecessary beeping. So there you go, it's starting up. It's showing what it's uh, curing. Hopefully everything goes well. Should be able to hear the ping from the, the film when it's pulling up, listen, listen for that and uh, that let us know if it's going well or not.